Girl, you've got questions. Questions about your body and how to feel good in it, about your hormones and how to keep them in check. Questions about your sex life and your whole health. Can you imagine having a best girlfriend who was also a triple board certified OBGYN? A girlfriend doctor you could call and ask or tell her anything. Someone who could show you how to live any stage of life before, during, or after menopause in a big, bold, and beautiful way. Well, friends, I'm your girlfriend doctor. I believe you are meant to flourish and shine, to embrace life and awaken to all its possibilities. Let's get there together. Welcome to our show. Welcome back to the Girlfriend Doctor Show. I am Dr. Anna Kavecka and I'm thrilled to be here with you guys. And today we're gonna talk about how important it is to get keto green and why this is a lifestyle that makes a difference. Pretty much a healthy lifestyle for any stage of our life, but an essential lifestyle as we go through menopause and for our second spring of our lives. And I'll share with you why some important facts and what's important about the food we eat as well as the other lifestyle habits that make the keto green plan a complete reset and just key to recharging your body and helping you balance your hormones for the rest of your life. So we have welcomed in 2021. And let me tell you, setting our goals from our future boarding, if you are doing that in those five key areas, career, relationships, health, right? Mind, body, and spirit into your financial health and prosperity as well as passion and joy those five key areas to visualize where you're heading in 2021 and in our girlfriend doctor club let me tell you i welcome you into the community because we are step by step going through our keto green detox and for every month for the next 12 months we have a single step a single focus to really recharge our body with some fun challenges and other other good stuff and live interaction with me which i am loving so i welcome you guys into the club don't forget check that out at dranna.com forward slash club now let's talk about getting keto green and what this really means and why we want to do it You can see right in front of me, I've got an amazing array of food. So let me just start with what keto green can look like for you and your family. So looking here at the table, one of the most important balancing acts that we can do for our bodies for hormones is have enough healthy essential fats. So with that, our diet has to have that. Now look, I don't know about you, but I was in high school and college in the 80s, and that was the low fat movement. Do you remember that? Low fat movement and what substituted for that fat was carbohydrates. So I could eat mac and cheese and popcorn, and I mean, it was just terrible, you know, terrible, and it really does destroy our hormones. It creates an increased risk of obesity, diabetes, and the heart disease, the list goes on, not to mention dementia, which we call, or Alzheimer's, which we have coined to be type three diabetes. So that low fat diet, that low fat eating and higher carb eating is destructive. We were never designed to have cereal or a bagel for breakfast, you know, sandwich for lunch and bread for dinner. So that is just way too much carbs and way too much gluten. And we can go into the whole contamination of our wheat and our uh, grain farming on another episode. But let me tell you, this has been, this is really life changing. So there's a healthy way to do keto and an unhealthy way to do, do keto. You may have seen like bacon and butter and just lots of meats and, you know, doesn't matter where it's from as long as it's without carbs, that is unhealthy for women. Now men have 10 times as much testosterone, which is an anabolic steroid hormone that helps keep their muscles and bones strong and healthy. Guys, women, we are not hairless men for sure. And we don't have that much testosterone. And um, well, you know, grateful for how we're designed, but we have to nourish our body in a way that helps us keep our bone, keep our muscle. And so in addition, to the healthy fats and high quality protein in keto, the keto green part, the missing link to keto for women 
is the alkalinizing vegetables, the cruciferous vegetables. Like here I have this amazing cruciferous veggie hash with uh, cauliflower, with cabbage, some red or purple cabbage in here, broccoli, little broccolinis, and then adding in healthy fats. So we have some avocado and eggs for your protein, and that can really be complete. This can be a lunch. You can use some of this as a leftover to scramble up with eggs as a breakfast when you break fast. You know, this is just the benefit of the foods that I put together in my Keto Green plan is that they are hormone balancing and alkalinizing, rich in fiber to keep you from getting constipated, to keep you, your microbiome, these trillion of bacteria that are living within our body, especially the bacteria in our gut, healthy and strong and working for us and not against us. We know a straight keto plan can decrease the diversity of the bacteria in our gut. So, but Keto Green, adding in the alkalinizers, the vegetables, the fiber, the prebiotic and probiotics, that all makes a difference. And you can do it really fun. So think healthy fats, healthy, high quality, you know, free range, grass-fed, wild-caught protein. You wanna make sure you're getting good protein. And then a bed of greens or cruciferous vegetables and herbs and spices that are so essential that can really help alkalinize. And that's super fun to really play with, play with different ingredients and especially herbs and spices, some of the traditional ones, turmeric, cumin, cardamom, nutmeg, cinnamon, I mean, all different spices incorporating that into you, along with Himalayan sea salt and crushed black pepper, or some cayenne peppers, good for digestion, really good for detoxification. And so, all right, let me keep, let me uh, go into this. So you got it. So keto green is different. There's the right way to do keto and there's the wrong way. And so our keto green plan is really designed for hormone balance, both men and women doing it together. And before I show you this, let me just tell you a story. Early on in writing my book, Keto Green 16, which is essential reading for all of you, I, we did a, a study in North Florida Integrative Medicine at Dr. Anjali Aikie's practice. She runs group medical visits with the Keto Green 16 plan. And so husbands and wives taking it together, you know, people taking it by themselves, all ages, 30 and up, taking the keto, doing the Keto Green 16 plan. So this couple, both in their 50s, did it together. Well, in that 16 days, they cleaned up their diet, right? Broke up with sugar, added healthy fats, completely started eating my Keto Green 16 plan. And what they noticed, she lost 11 pounds in 16 days and she felt better. Her joint pain was eliminated. Her hair and skin felt be more beautiful and clearer. And she just had all this energy that she hadn't had in, in years. And her husband, how did he do? Well, let me tell you, he started to feel a little weak. He lost, he was losing weight pretty quickly and we weren't sure, did he have COVID? What was going on? So Dr. Aiki evaluated him and lo and behold, his blood pressure had really gotten low that he was able to eliminate or reduce significantly his blood, ple blood pressure medicine in just 16 days. I mean, how beneficial is that? And he lost 30 pounds. Man, guys do it quicker than women, right? And he continues to do, they continue to do really well following the plan. So in my Girlfriend Doctor Club, we really, and what I want you guys to know is that this keto green lifestyle is for you definitely and for the family and is easy and simple and is a lifestyle that we need to carry with us so that we can have all the health benefits, the insulin sensitivity, the energy, the clarity of our mind because let me tell you ketones to the brain is jet fuel glucose is like regular gasoline so we want to get those ketones and we want to get alkaline and so let's look at this menu so we've got a cruciferous veggie hash with added fats with the um, avocado and the egg beautiful um, free range egg hard boiled egg, and then some sriracha on top, because we like pepper. Pepper is really good and activator, especially like cayenne pepper. This is sriracha, which is one of my favorites. And what else do we have here? Here you can see an amazing charcuterie plate. And this is great to have these in the kitchen because these are well-preserved. And if they're in the fridge and you're hungry, you can eat some healthy fats. And the key thing is that we're balancing it. 
In most all of my plans, I don't have cheese or dairy because I'm dairy sensitive, so I take dairy out of all my plans. In my book, The Hormone Fix, great dairy-free, gluten-free, grain-free recipes, and in Keto Green 16, a number of great dairy-free, gluten-free, grain-free recipes that are all keto green. So, so if you don't have a dairy sensitivity, what we do like is some aged cheeses every once in a while. So they, they are here for your enjoyment. And here is some jicama shell. So this is just thinly sliced jicama, which is nice to use as a wrap to create something with, here's the pepperoni, here's the um, prosciutto. <laughs> I'm like, it's capicola. Capicola, sorry. Capicola, wait, we got capicola, prosciutto. Here, we try to remember which ones we put out. And so a beautiful way to do this, and you can add an olive and have a beautiful wrap. You could put a toothpick in this too if you were having a little party tray, and just a nice way to do it. And um, we've got some jarcuteries. What a cute concept. Look at these jarcuteries. So you could do this to be you know, even more sanitary, and each one has their own little charcuterie jar, um, AKA jarcuterie. So for inspiration, check out jarcuterie on Instagram. And also, Cheese Me Charcuterie is another great Instagram with lots of charcuterie plates. But it's nice because these are things that last for a while. And you're looking at pickled, you know, some pickles and some jalapenos, our, our meats, olives, which are healthy fat, healthy oils, artichokes, really great for detoxification. It really helps with glutathione production, sulfation, one of the key ways that we detox. So in incorporating these recipes to balance us out, I'm supporting several phases of detox, which we will go into more in our next segment. So here you've got beautiful Kalamata olives. Again, the oil is amazing, olive oil, always drizzling olive oil onto our vegetables for sure. And then nuts are always, okay, a treat, dark chocolate covered cashews. Gotta love it, right? Oh my gosh, beautiful dark chocolate covered cashews. You see those, they're like some of my favorite thing ever, but a little bit goes a long way. Check out this little charcuterie, jarcuterie. We just love it. So with okra, some carrots and blueberries at the bottom, just a beautiful addition. And of course you've got nuts. Now here for your main course is our lemon pepper chicken, which is one of the recipes that we share in our three day menu plan. So if you don't have it, go to dranna.com to my show and in the show notes, there'll be a link to where you can uh, get this recipe. And this is a sweet potato cauliflower mash. So a little bit of sweet potato adds that beautiful color and not too much carb. And then of course the cauliflower to add this mash and then just beautifully serving it up adds another great alkalinizing side. Cauliflower is for the cruciferous vegetable family. All the crucifers help improve detoxification through sulfation pathways and methylation pathways. And that's important for our overall balanced digestion and hormonal health, especially because estrogen detoxification requires these micronutrients to support our body's natural detoxification of harmful estrogens. And we want that, and that's why it's included in so many of my meals and um, my meal plans. So this is our lemon pepper chicken, and in it there's some beautiful onions and cabbage and lots of good salt and lemon juice and um, pepper, cracked pepper and it's beautiful at any side. And I like you to make enough so too if you want, you have leftovers, but again, you can see how your whole family can enjoy this. You can have a dinner party, get together, making your little charcuteries, yes. All right, so we will be right back in a second and we're gonna come back and talk more about detoxification. Okay, I'll see you in a second. The Girlfriend Doctor Club is here. We've been building our community for years on Facebook and Instagram through the Girl Talk questions that you send in that I answer on my website and in the newsletters and messages that I send out to you every week over email talking about what matters most to all women everywhere. Now we're taking this to the next level and yes, creating the Girlfriend Doctor Club. I am super excited about this. It is the perfect way to jump into 2021, linking arms with each other for inspiration, 
support, encouragement, and so much fun. So join the Girlfriend Doctor Club for just $1 in January. And believe me, you don't want to miss our inaugural month. We are dedicating January to making all our health and wellness dreams come true. Here's a little bit of what we're planning. We're going to start with my signature Keto Green Challenge to get you back on track with your fitness and health goals. We all need this after 2020, right? We're going to alkalinize you, girlfriend, and we're going to eat the best, healthiest, and delicious foods you can imagine while boosting your immunity and helping you lose weight. We can do it together. We'll also have weekly all-star guest appearances from my best girlfriends who are world-renowned fitness experts and health gurus. We'll also have weekly online meetings in the Girlfriend Doctor Clubhouse to talk about the questions we all want answers to and to really empower each other to elevate our lives. We'll have menus, motivation, and so much more. So join for $1 in January and then get the rest of the year at over 50% off the regular membership prices. This means you'll have access to the exclusive club for under $50 a month. This club is my way of giving back to you, girlfriend, because you have given me so much love and support over the years. I wanted to create a place where we can say what we want and then go after it together. There's so much healing in community. All year long, you'll get special savings on my products and programs. I'll be designing fitness, health, and motivational challenges for you. And there are a few surprises I'm cooking up too. Please join us. I can't wait to see you in the club. This one click will change your life. Welcome back everyone. Now that you've got those key concepts of what it means to be keto green and what it looks like, I wanna really emphasize the importance of the detoxification component of being keto green. One thing I always say is test, don't guess. And there are a few ways to test. If you have my book, which you guys should, The Hormone Fix, you will see there are many questionnaires in here. There's two sets of questionnaires, and one is the hormone symptom toxicity questionnaire, and the other is the medical symptom toxicity questionnaire. Now, um, those are here available for you in the book, and also in the show notes, there will be a link to my online hormone toxicity questionnaire. So it's important to test, not guess. What we see when we get into our keto green lifestyle, we see these symptom scores decrease dramatically. And that's what I want for you. I want you to see results on the scale. I wanna see results in your skin, in your eyes, in your complexion, in your hair, in your energy, in your vitality, in your passion, in your joy. I want you to see all these, these changes also keeping track. So on a monthly basis, remembering to do your questionnaire and test not gas and see how you are. Now, if your, your hormone toxicity symptom questionnaire score is above 15, if either of them are, that means you've got a lot of toxins going on for sure. And that is why in the hormone fix, in chapter seven, it's all about toxicity. And it even starts with like, okay, what are some toxic foods that we could be eating? We talk about the clean, you know, the dirty dozen and the clean 15, and that's really important to understand. But also, what about plastic water bottles? What about plastic containers? Those are toxins, those create hormone disruption. They're honestly as bad for you as sugar. So we want to really eliminate the toxins that we're accumulating, that so many of us are accumulating in our body. And according to research, an umbilical cord blood, there's over 200 toxins that are known and recorded by the CDC. So that is in umbilical cord blood. So we want to eliminate that from our lives and certainly reproductive age, eliminate it from passing it through. At any age, reducing toxins is so important. That is why in the Hormone Fix, a whole chapter on that. So the first thing I want to share with you is the dirty dozen, so foods that you should buy organic because they are known to be heavily sprayed with pesticides. And I'm really sad to say on here that our Georgia peaches is one of them. And um, strawberries, spinach, nectarines, apples, grapes, peaches, cherries, pears, tomatoes, celery, potatoes, and bell peppers are part of the dirty dozen. So when you can, get those organic. And that will really help eliminate some of the pesticides and herbicides 
that are on the vegetables and food that you're buying. And that's key. We've already talked about eating free range, grass fed, you know, antibiotic free, you know, uh, you know, injection free, like hormone free um, animal sources. That's really key. So these unadulterated animal sources is really important. The number one animal, unadulterated animal source in our country, can you guess what it is? Bison, buffalo meat. That has been protected for centuries and it's really an important and it's great to have. I just had bison the other day and then had bison bone broth from the bone. So it's a great, great investment and in a really pure animal food source. Again, looking at that. Now, the Clean 15, let's talk about these. To save some money, you can do these that are non-organic. Buy organic whenever you can. We want to support our organic growers, right? And so here's the Clean 15 avocados, sweet corn, but that's really not keto green. That's okay, I'm just giving you the clean 15 right now, but avocados, because of the, you know, the heavy shell, the thick shell that keeps the meat of the avocado, essentially, the, the fruit of the avocado, a little bit protected from those pesticides and herbicides. So avocados, sweet corn, pineapples, cabbages, onions, sweet peas, papayas, asparagus, mangoes, eggplant, honeydew melon, kiwi, cantaloupe, cauliflower, and broccoli. These are among the clean 15. But with cauliflower and broccoli, I do get those organic mostly as well because they're really, um, they're there to detox for our body. So those cruciferous vegetables are really important that way. So those are, that's in here with other information on, on chemicals and pesticides and where those you know, those nasty hormone disruptors sneak into our body through our skin care, through our lotions, cream, shampoos. Really need to be conscientious of that as you're detoxing here in January, getting clean, removing toxins, empowering your body because we are working at the cellular level to re-energize you, to empower the mitochondria, which we call the powerhouse of our cells. So at the smallest level, when we make these changes, big results occur. We feel better. We feel more energized. We desire to do the things that have been on our bucket list, our to-do list. And that's a really good place to be. So detoxification. There are key, three key ways that we detoxify. Number one, I will say eliminate toxins, as many toxins as possible from your environment. So the chemicals, the pesticides and you know, eat organic, but also what we're putting on our body and the environment we're living in, how we clean our homes. And again, more information in the hormone fix on that, but cleaning with apple cider vinegar, for instance, or white vinegar is a great non-toxic cleaning solution that's been around for centuries that's really safe and does not disrupt our hormones. So that's a key way. So eliminate as much exposure. And the second is what we're nourishing our body with. So the methylators, sulfators, and glucuronidators that are in our diet. This is our cruciferous vegetables. The dark green leafy, the alliums, the onions and shallots and garlic, all of these together work multiple pathways for detoxification and hormone balance in our body. And that's why it's important to incorporate that into your meals, like using herbs and spices and these key plant-based alkalinizing foods. And then really what I want you to do is also to detox your mind. So wow, how powerful is that? Because when we are thinking stressful thoughts, thinking about what's going on externally that we may or may not have any control about, where we direct our thoughts, our physiology follows. I wanna say that again, because this is so important. Where we direct our thoughts, our physiology follows. Biblically, it talks about in Philippians chapter four, verse eight, and it reads, in conclusion, my friends, fill your minds with those things that are good and deserve praise. Things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and honorable. And that is where we focus our mind. So when we focus our minds in those direction, man, more oxytocin, right? Our physiology will follow. And that also, oxytocin is one of the most alkalinizing hormones in our body, helps us de-stress, decrease inflammation, natural pain reliever, natural appetite suppressant, right? That's why when we're in love, we're like not hungry. That's the hormone oxytocin. So when we are joyful, when we are experiencing pleasure, when we are happy and laughing, this hormone is in abundance. And when we focus our thoughts on this, this oxytocin hormone, 
the most alkalinizing hormone in our body really improves our entire physiology. And the contrary is true too. So if we are fearful, if we are stressed, if we are like paranoid, if we are scared, if we are angry, if we are irritable, that physiology, the hormone cortisol, comes to rob and steal our peace. And it is the most acidifying hormone in our body. And so when we are detoxing this keto green way, part of the lifestyle, these are those are the three key things that I want you to really just focus on. Eliminate toxins, get keto green, and detox your mind. Focus on all the good and things you are grateful for in your life. Just being here. I am grateful for being here and being here with you. And this will make a difference as you go through 2021. And again, I want to invite you into the Girlfriend Doctor Club because we are doing 12 areas of focus, one focus a month, one next right step, and we are getting Keto Green 16. It's not too late. We are getting Keto Green and detoxing and really incorporating in, in, uh, really incorporating this lifestyle into our lives right now for you and your entire family, all right? And I am here for you. So I wanna thank you for being with us today on the Girlfriend Doctor Show. Remember that we are in this together. We are a community and I know you've enjoyed this. I can't wait to finish eating some of that great keto green food. I can't wait for my chicken, lemon pepper and um, the cruciferous veggie hash. So I hope you guys will try these recipes, check them out and again, join me in the club. Remember that I'm here to help you and really help all women everywhere just thrive and nourish their body so that you can shine and have the best relationships of your life. And with that, we all are living better, healthier, happier lives. So for key takeaways, dranna.com, click on the show, and then you'll see show notes here. Also go to my YouTube channel at The Girlfriend Doctor and subscribe so that as soon as these episodes are out, you have you're notified and please share this show share this show and our other shows with your friends and again don't forget to join me in the club at dranna.com forward slash club i love being here with you and don't forget there's no such thing as too much information you can ask or tell me anything i am here for you till next time my friends <music>